What exactly is FGM? FGM is the non-medical practice that intentionally removes female genital organs. Often, girls are cut when they are still very young, in some cases, under the age of five. FGM is practiced all over the world, but is predominant in 30 countries. In some of those countries, high prevalence rates mean that nearly all girls still experience FGM. There are four types of FGM. Type one, clitoridectomy, meaning removal of the clitoris. Type two, excision, meaning removal of the clitoris and the labia. Type three, infibulation, meaning a narrowing of the vaginal opening, sometimes through stitching. Type four, all other harmful procedures not covered by the first three, including pricking, stretching, scraping, or even using acid to mutilate parts of the genitalia. Once more for everyone in the back, it is non-medical and has zero health benefits, but it can cause a lot of other things. Severe bleeding, complications in childbirth, problems urinating, problems menstruating, problems having sex, mental health issues, shock, death. More than 200 million women have undergone female genital mutilation, FGM, with three million more at risk every single year. FGM is violence against women and girls, child abuse, sexual assault. Often it's about controlling female sexuality, a tradition to prepare a woman for marriage, allegedly to purify them for their husbands. Sometimes it's done to girls because it was done to their mothers, as a rite of passage or a coming of age ritual, or even without much of an explanation at all. It's a cycle of social pressure that's hard to shake, but not impossible. Actually, many people in these countries want the practice to end forever. And though it is often shrouded in secrecy, many survivors told Global Citizen they wanted to talk about the reality of FGM so that they can help end it altogether. We should probably mention too, FGM is not a religious exercise. It happens in Christian, Muslim and Jewish communities, but there is nothing in any of their holy books that teaches it. Basically, FGM is violence against girls. So how can we end FGM forever? Education, teaching doctors and teachers what signs to look for and how to respond sensitively. Cultural intervention, survivors telling their stories to their own communities laws and policies, enforcing consequences when FGM is carried out and making policy changes that further deter the practice. The time to end FGM is now. Just head to globalcitizen.org forward slash FGM among us to find out more.